Okay. Come on now. Okay. doing four two in the right straight two in the right straight left hook three in the left hook three in the left hook right straight cross hook cross 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 hook cross cross boom cross hook cross cross never cross cross never boom cross hook cross cross never left hook cross hook cross cross never left hook cross hook cross never left hook right straight cross hook cross the left hook, sir. Left hook, right straight. Boom. Cross hook, cross liver. Left hook, right straight. Three. One, two, three. Boom. Three in the liver shot. Three in the liver shot, right straight. Four in the right body, left hook. Four in the right body, left hook, right straight. Body Three. One, two, three. Three in the left hook, right body. One, two, three. Left hook, right body. Left uppercut, right straight. Right up, that right, straight, left hook. Uppercut, straight hook. Double right, straight lever. <coughs> Three. <coughs> hook, cross, hook. Cross, hook, cross. Right up, got left hook, right straight. Three to the left hook, right straight. Two at the right, straight lever. Four. Four at the right, straight lever. Three. One, two, three. Three to left hook, right body. Three. Left hook, right body. Right body, left hook, right straight. Body, head, head. And again. Body, head, head. And again. Body, head, head. With the knee. Left body, right straight, left hook. Body, head, head. Knee. Body, head, head. Knee. Keep going. Body, head, head. Knee. Body, head, head. Knee. Who cross hook? Who cross hook? Keep going. Who cross hook? Boom, cross hook, cross, cross hook, cross, boom, cross hook, cross, boom, four, two, one, and a little shot right straight, and time. Okay, so people ask me, uh, Tommy, you were asking about a left high kick. I'm going to do this probably on Saturday, and the reason is, on like Saturday, maybe we just do a talking event. I'm going to sit down here, but in the gym, and then you guys at home can ask me questions how you would do certain things, how I would do certain things. Okay, so then you say, hey, that left high kick, how can you develop a really good left high kick? There's a lot of detail that I need to bring in it, and to do that right now, it's going to take away from the workout. So if you do those kind of things on Saturday, where you guys can ask me questions, and I can show it to you right away. And you can ask also regular questions. It doesn't need to be about fighting itself. Let's put our gloves on. <clears throat> and always keeping busy. You can always move around. You never have to stand still. Also, when we do it before punches, we show it to you, we're doing it straight into the camera. But of course, you want to move forward, you want to move backwards, you want to move to the side. Whatever you do with moving, it's open, close. Think about that. Your, fork, your stance is always open, close. 
Open, close. You never do this, close and open. Because this moment, a good fighter, if he gives you a low kick, there's nothing you can do. Maybe you can move back and forth, but it's very hard because both feet are in one line. Uh, one line. Also, if you move forward like this or backwards like this, close open, this is a bad position to be in because you immobilize yourself, you can't move. So also, of always, whatever you move backwards, that's what you step backwards with the front too. Forward, open, close. Forward, open, close. Actually, this is a really cool drill. Let's start doing that a little bit. So we got footwork. Because if you look at the UFC, some guys are still not doing it. You know, then again, some people do it on, don't do it on purpose to get, get in the head of the opponent a little bit. So let's move forward every time. Forward and back. Boom, boom. Two feet. Boom, boom. 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 Backwards and forward. Back, back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Move to the left. Pow, pow. And again. Pow, pow. And to the right. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. And now start doing it. One and two. And one and two and three. And now start just moving around. But every time, open, close. Open, close. Every time, make sure you keep doing that. Open, close. Left and right. You just move around. But you keep that white stance. It's very important for balance. Keep moving. Keep moving. And while you're doing this, here and there you can throw out a punch. You know, it's like you're shadow boxing. Footwork, not a lot of people pay attention to that. They do a different kind of footwork, like TJ Dillashaw is really good with that. Dominic Cruz, really good with that. You know, uh, actually there's a whole bunch. I'm, I'll, I'll, they will all pop up in my mind because we see such crazy things. I just saw this clip this morning with uh, Wonder Boy getting knocked out uh, with that punch of the fans. He was pushing up, and then normally a person, when they push off the fans, they come in the right straight. But Pettis, he threw a right hook. And you know, everybody's used to a right straight coming at you. And then suddenly, if you think that's a straight coming and it looks around your head and it's a hook, that was a very smart thing to do for Pettis. Then again, he's very creative. We see him all the time doing these crazy things. Nobody ever is going to take away that uh, wall kick knockout, pretty much, that he dazed his opponent with uh, Benson Henderson. Okay, so that's the footwork. Lock this up, you know, after this workout you want to keep on doing that. This is very, very, very important because everything comes from this base. At least this is our base, you know, uh, wide open. And I know a lot of people will tell you, you're a wide open target. Fun fact is though, everybody I know that fights like this never been down to the body. So, if it's wide open, it should be an easy target. Apparently it's not, because you start defending it with your elbows. That's what I started doing. You find different ways because you understand that you're a wider target here, so your defense automatically becomes better. But now, the great things that come with it, oh, that's crazy. For instance, a low kick. If I'm standing in front of Dana, and I'm standing in a bladed position, and she has a fast low kick like a Jose Aldo or a Tyrone Spong, that's going to be very hard for me to block, see? And what's going to happen, she's going to kick the side of my leg, which is a little bone behind, you got the tibula and the fibula, and the tibia is actually the big bone, the fibula behind it is the tiny bone. And if you relax this muscle and you get kicked by a big shin bone, that might break. Now, if you stand like we stand, I have just my toes pointing at 45 degree angle out to the side, now she gives me a low kick because there's no thing I need to do. And for her it's the worst thing. The opponent, you will give you one low kick if you check like this while putting your body weight in there, so never lean on one leg, that's the dumbest thing to do because if she just kicks, she's moving me on balance and then I can't counter. Right? But if your opponent kicks me with a low kick like this, and I do boom, and then he kicks me again, I'm pretty sure he's going to stop low kicking me. Because that's going to really hurt him, and he knows it can really hurt him. So, that's a nice little thing about the white stance. Another nice little thing is that this punch is not a jab anymore, it's a straight punch. Now you can push up on your back foot and give a punch. Let's do this a little bit. Let's go with one punch, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. All straight punches. All straight punches. Remember Vitor Belfort and Vendelay Silva in the Brazil? I was actually there when Vitor started. Straight through the middle with straight punches. Blasted Vendelay all the way to the other side of the cage. And he won his fight by knockout. Footwork is important. Moving to the side. It's very important. But then you can see what straight punches can do. Now, push open your back foot with the one. Push. Two is one, two. And I feel it kind of uh, two times. Pa, pa. Three, one, two, three. Every time, one, two, three, four. Try to 
focus of pushing, from, pushing off on that back foot is the most difficult thing there is. That is why fighting backwards with power is a very hard thing to do. Sure, I can be in the air and throw a left hook now, <coughs> but if I'm in the air on one foot, it's impossible for me to put my body weight into the punch. That can only be when I have my feet on the ground. Now I can put my body weight in that punch. So to move backwards while keeping both feet on the floor, well, you're walking. There's always a moment your foot is going to be off the floor. That means keep those feet as close to the ground. You want to slide them over the ground because as soon as you see an opening, you want to have full power. Let's push it over the back foot, bam, for the straight punches. For the hooks and uppercuts, it's all two feet on the floor, all right? So focus on that. Let's do a cross hook and you only focus on this, on pushing and now grabbing the floor with your two feet and making a hook. Okay, so push, hook. Focus on the feet, pushing over the back foot, and now two feet together, you make the left hook. Boom, boom. Try to focus. And don't start fast. Start at a pace that you really feel you're pushing up and you're using the floor. That is the most important in fighting. If you can hit somebody with your body weight, it's always better. Now, don't get me wrong. If you can, if you can knock somebody out with an arm punch, of course you can do that. But I always say, if you can make it into a power shot with your body weight, why would you do that? Okay? Plus, if you set up people with arm punches and you've been using this system the whole time, pushing off, now you're suddenly doing something different because you don't rotate. So then an arm punch is going to be more effective as well. And an arm punch, hit it at the moment it's least expected. That is, of course, always the knockout. Okay, cross hook. Let's do left uppercut right straight. Now you feel the front foot. You're pushing off for the front foot, the uppercut, and your back foot, you're pushing off for the straight. Left uppercut, right straight. Pa -pa. Focus. Ha -ha. Focus on the push, focus on the push backwards. Focus on the push upwards, and focus on the push there. Ha -ha. Boom, boom. And again, bam, bam. That's a good one. Dang, dang. You can do this at your own speed. You can go fast, you can go slow. Whatever you want to do, make it sure that you have great technique. Pa -pa. Good. Good. Okay, now we're going to start moving backwards now. The drill that we already did, so if you have a partner, now you can do it with the partner. If you don't have a partner, you're going to do the same thing what you just did before. This is it. I'm going to do only a three and a four punch. It gives us a little bit more time to react. If I throw a three punch, she's going to counter me with the right straight. I'm going to move out of a right hook. It doesn't matter, right straight or anything right. I'm going to move out of the way and I come back with the hook cross. So I'm going to move out of the way while I'm loading my left shoulder up, hook, cross. Show that first, okay? So, one, two, three, boom, hook, cross. That's what it is. On four, she's going to give me a left, a hook or a straight, that's up to her. One, two, three, four, move, cross, hook. You see, while I land, I immediately propel myself forward again for the cross, hook, or for the hook, cross. All right? Let's start doing this. Three on me. One, two, three, boom, hook, cross. Four. One, two, three, four, boom. Good, three on you. One, two, three, boom, hook, cross, four. One, two, three, four, boom, cross, hook. One, two, three, boom, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, boom, cross, hook. One, two, three, boom, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, boom, cross, hook. One, two, three, boom, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, boom, cross, hook. Good. The count is going to be body, head, body, head now. This is a hard one, and what you can do Instead of, because if I move backwards, a liver shot, my well, liver shot's going to be far away. I'm good with this, moving back, left straight to the body, and the right straight to the head. So, on the three, that would exactly look like that. So, one, two, three, move, body, head. And then four, uh, one, two, three, four, move, body, head. So, body, head, come back with a one, two, and come back with a cross hook. On the three, with a one, two, on the four, with a cross hook.
And as long as you get good in the fight as well, you're always good. Never quit. If you mess up, it's like pulling your gun and you pull your holster out and you go like, oh, shit. I go, no, pull the holster off because if that happens in a real situation, you need to be ready for that stuff. All right? Four, boom, bam, bam. Good. One, two, three. Up, boom, bam. One, two, three. Good, all right. Yesterday we were working on that right key counter, which I like a lot, and I did that with Damon, who was yesterday here. Uh, Damon, Dana, Ooh, almost the same. I know. Right? That's crazy. Um, uh, the left key counter. Okay, the left key counter. Oh, the, uh, the right key counter. Round, round, right, round house kick. Right, mawashi, giri. Where is to the leg, to the body, or to the head? We're going to counter with the body shot and then a cross hook on top. Yesterday I explained to you why we do that, because you blow out and you go, Psst, you make that sound, right? You make that sound because you're flexing your body, because you understand that as soon as you punch, you're open, somebody can hit you there. So you're doing that to control your air, but also to flex your muscles. The thing though is, after a combination, you move out and you're breathing in. Now you hit a person while he's breathing in, you're gonna really hurt him. That's your knockout, right there. So this is what we're going to do. They keep with the right, shh, blow out. They breathe in while they're pulling it back. We're going to wait for them to breathe in, pulling it back, and I'm going to counter with a body shot, a left leg to the body, which probably seals the deal, and a cross hook just for the gravy on top. Okay? So right, round house kick to the body. Let's start with that. So, block, body, head, head. Again. Bong, 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 bong. Bong, bong, bong. You see, I'm waiting a little bit. I'm not doing this. I don't do that because the, the, the muscle might still be flexed because she's not really recoiling yet. So as soon as she kicks, I go one, I beat, and then I come with the punches. Just wait till they pull it back. A little beat only. Counter with the right body, left straight to the body, right straight to the head, and the left hook to the head. And why not wrap it up with a low kick? Okay? Wrap it up with a low kick. Boom, bang. Good. I kick you. Okay. Boom. Good. Me. Yeah, I saw that. Good. Now we do the same thing. I saw that. Ready for both. with this like two times in a row and I don't mean in a row like right after another like say you know your opponent has a great roundhouse kick the right kick right so you're gonna bait him maybe you bring your hands up a little higher that will bait that person to start kicking your body right because my hands are here then you block it and go back with the left body right straight left hook and the right low kick so you give your opponent kind of the target but simply raising your hands. If I want them to kick me in the head, then, well, I bring my hands here. You see, now I'm asking for punches and for kicks in the head. Here, I'm asking for body shots. Here, I'm gonna give him an option. That's why in my fighting, you pretty much never saw me here. I'm either here, because now they're gonna hit the head, or if I do this, I want you to hit my body. That's how I work. And of course, you have to break that rule too, because it cannot be a pattern. But imagine this. This guy has great round horse kick, Immediately fires, you go, whew, bang, 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 and you let the low kick. And you know he's hurt by it. But you don't want to pull the trigger yet. You start ad living again, you're sparring, you keep going, you keep going. Suddenly the right kick comes again. Whoa, body, head, head, and another low kick. Now you already did it twice to him. And if you connect it with it, he's going to expect something. So now the third time, you're going to pull the switch. And what you do, you pull the switch on the last kick, making him think it's another low kick. But then suddenly, of course, you fire it into a high kick. So, she kicks me with the right, I go, bark, bang, bang, body, and boom, come with a high kick. But only do this after you did it twice with the low kick. Also make sure that that low kick fully connects both times because he needs to be afraid of it. Once they're afraid of the low kick, 
their focus attention is going to go to their uh, low kick and they might put their hands already here a little lower and there's the target to the head. So then you switch it into a head kick. We can do this the other way around as well. So the left kick, also one of my favorite counters, it's a right straight to the body, left hook right straight, and why not give him a liver kick right after that? Okay, so, body punch, 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 and boom, left kick. I go here, boom, body, boom, boom. So with the left kick, just keep going. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, left kick. <laughs> it up. One time a left kick, one time a right kick. And you do the correct one. On the right kick, you go with the left straight to the body, cross hook and the middle kick. And on the left kick, you do your body, head, head, and the left kick. Okay, so we decide. I'm going to kick her four times. And uh, try not to have a pattern. So maybe I give her four left kicks. That might. Maybe one right kick and two left kicks, and then like that, I'm mixing it up. Here we go, four times. <laughs> Whatever they give you, you're going to count to it. Just keep on going. Something's going on with my MacBook. Let me see. Uh oh. Something is working. Okay, something is up. Technology. Technology is killing me. Right? Yeah. Can't stop. Camera. Good. Guys, stay on this Facebook page. I'll be right back. I'll be right back if you can hear me. Come on. It's not really good. Look, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Side kick. Hello. That was a left inside kick. And we are back. Go on. Kick. Technology, guys. Yes, this is technology. Are we back now? I hope we are back. Oh, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. You just guys keep on doing the... What you were doing? Oh. Instagram keeps going. Just saying, yeah, we should be good. Hi, people. Hi. Hi. Is that. Okay, we're well, much later. Here we are. Okay, yeah, we're here good. We're on again. So let's make this pop the screen bigger so I can see myself. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, that all should be taken care of after this weekend. Everything should be better than the streaming. So, uh,. Hopefully, we can fix that, make it better for everybody. Okay, so boom, boom, boom those were kicking, uh, uh, countering the kicks, right? But you can do the same thing with punches. So instead of a right roundhouse kick, she's going to call me and give me a right straight. And instead of a left kick, she's going to give me a left straight as a counter. And then I'm going to come back with the same counters, which is kind of weird, but it works really well. So, 
Um, we coming back. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if I go with three, one, two, three, I'm moving to the side and come back with a body shot head head. If I do four, one, two, three, four, move body head head. So it's the same move what you did because I'm both loading up, which could also be a kick, a block of a kick, while she's pushing. Fun to start mixing it up, but keep doing this a little bit with the punches, and then we're going to start adding kicks to it as well to this whole drill. So, in your mind, you just go one, two, three, move, body, head, head. Four, one, two, three, four, move, body, head, head. Three, one, two, three, move, body, head, head. Four, one, two, three, four, move, body, head, head. On the three, when I move back, load your shoulder because that needs to be a straight punch, a little tap is not going to do anything. One, two, three, move. Keep your elbow close to your body. Push up on your back foot. Head, head. All right, three. One, two, three, move. Body, head, head. Four. One, two, three, four, move. Body, head, head. Now, another thing, if you have a partner, you can make this more realistic. You can let the partner punch whenever she or he wants to counter you. So, to trick you, she might wait half a beat. Or maybe she goes faster. Or maybe she waits a whole second. Thing is, I can only move my face out of the way if I see your hand move. So if I do a three, one, two, three, I'm gonna wait. Oh, body head, head. Four, one, two, three, four. Oh, body head, head. See now I've got the body head, head. But you see that makes it way more realistic because that's what's gonna happen in a real fight as well. So always visualize that. Now doing this by yourself, unfortunately, well you can't visualize he's going faster and slower at a certain point. And then you just count. Okay, body, head, head, dog. One more. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. And the four, one, two, three, four. Whoa, bam, bam, bam. See? She's probably with an imaginary person. Oh, it's actually a psychopath. See, you're, you're seeing things. I'm seeing, seeing things. You're seeing crazy things. Let's add the kicks now. So, I go with three, I move, come back with two, three punches, I throw four, I come back with three punches, then I go throw a three again, now she kicks me instead of a counter punch, she kicks me, I come back with the same three shots, and four punch, she kicks me, I come back with the same three punches. So the, cover, the counters are always body, head, head, or starting with the right, body, head, head. So I'm going to go at her three times, uh, four times. And she's going to counter the first two with a punch, and the second, she's going to counter with kicks. And I'm going to counter those counters again. Oh, oh. yeah. One, two, three, boom, body head, head. One, two, three, four, boom, body head, head. One, two, three, boom, body head, head. One, two, three, four, boom, body head, head. You see? And you do the same thing. Start going over it in your mind. It's important. One, two, three, boom, bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, four, boom, bang, bang, bang. Now they're gonna kick. One, two, three, boom, bang, bang, bang. Good. One, two, three, four, boom, body, head, head. Good. How much back again? Good. Three punches and a kick, but everything uh, 
stays the same on the rest. What I'm trying to say is this. Um, if she, I'll give her an, uh, uh, a three. One, two, three, she got boom, hook, cross, hook. Four. One, two, three, four, move, cross, hook, cross. Now the kicks. One, two, three, block, hook, cross, hook. Four. One, two, three, four, boom, cross, hook, cross. That's what we're going to do now. And you keep focusing, and I start changing the angles again of the punches. So now everything is to the head. Counter with head, 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 and a knee. All right, so three, one, two, three, move, hook, cross, hook, and a knee. Four, one, two, three, four, move, cross, hook, cross, knee. And again, one, two, three, move, hook, cross, hook, right knee. Four, one, two, three, four, move, cross, hook, cross, left knee. Now the punch is from the cross, hook, cross, and hook, cross, hook, are going to go head, head, body. Head, head, body. Here we go. One, two, three, move, head, head, body. One, two, three, four, move. Head, head, body. One, two, three, move. Head, head, body. Hold liver. One, two, three, four, move. Head, head, body. One, two, three, move. Head, head, body. One, two, three, four, move. Head, head, body. One, two, three, move. Head, head, body. One, two, three, four, move. Head, head, body. I'm messing it up. Body, body, head. No knee. And a knee. Sorry. Good. Question. One, two, three, move. Body, body, head. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Body, body, head. I forgot the knee. I see your knee and I forgot it. Three. One, two, three, move. Body, body, head. Boom. One, two, three, four, move. Body, body, head. Boom. One, two, three, move. Body, body, head. And a knee. One, two, three, four, move. Body, body, head. Left knee. Keep going. Head, head, body. Oh no, head, body, head. Okay. Head, body, head. One, two, three, move. Head, body, head. One, two, three, four, move. Head, body, head. Knee, good. One, two, three, move. Head, body, head. Knee. One, two, three, four, move. Head, body, head. Boom. One, two, three, move. Head, body, head. Knee. One, two, three, four, move. Cross, move, cross. Knee, keep going. Oh, okay, good. Make sure of those things yourself. If you have a bag at home, you know, start hitting the back. Body exercise, out of box focus passes. There's a lot of stuff out there that you can use to hit. It's important. Um, we go back to what we got. Yeah, 54. We're gonna go back. So the thing we did on the first ferry workout, that crazy combination, cross, hook, cross, cross, hook, hook, cross. And then we're going to start changing the punches on the reloads, and we're going to start changing the angles on the reloads, and then it becomes this whole fantastic thing, what I like a lot. This is really good, especially at the end of a class, because you're getting more tired, your brain is slowing down, now you really need to focus. You can't mess up. You constantly need to think. We're going to start, I'm going to guide you through it. Cross who cross, start with that. Cross who cross, ready. Cross who cross, ready. Cross who cross, ready. Cross who cross, ready. Cross who cross, 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 cross. And reload, see? Cross who cross, reload, there you go. Cross who cross, cross. Cross who cross, cross. Add a left hook to it. Cross who cross, cross hook. Cross who cross, cross hook. Cross hook, cross, cross hook. Cross hook, cross, cross hook. And the left hook right straight to it. Cross hook, cross, cross hook, hook cross. All rotation. Cross hook, cross, cross hook, hook cross. See? Cross hook, cross, cross hook, hook cross. Cross hook, cross, cross hook, hook cross. Okay, the reloads are gonna go to the body right now. Cross hook, cross, cross hook, hook cross. See? Head, 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 body, head, body, head. That's how I think. Head, 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 body, head, body, head. 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 Now the reload is going to be an uppercut. 
That means the right is a long right uppercut because it comes off a straight. And with the left, well, it stays a long one as well because it comes off a hook. So, cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got hook. Cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got hook, uh, straight. <laughs> cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got straight. Cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got straight. Keep going. Cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got straight. Cross, hook, cross, up got hook, up got straight. One more. Cross, hook, cross, up got hook. I'll go straight. Good. The third one. The first is a body shot, and the second one is an uppercut. The first is a body shot, the second is an uppercut. So, cross, hook, cross, body, head, uppercut straight. Cross, hook, cross, body, head, uppercut straight. Cross, hook, cross, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going. Bum, bum, bum. Boom, 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 boom. So two more times. Cross, cross, up, go, up, 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 straight. Good. Cross, go, cross. Body, head, up, go, straight. Good. Now the first one is going to be an uppercut, and the second one is going to be a body shot. So, cross, go, cross, up, go, head, liver shot straight. Cross, go, cross, up, go, head, liver shot straight. Cross, go, cross, up, go, head. Liver shot straight. Cross, hook, cross, up your head. Liver shot straight. Come, bum, come, bum, 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 bum. Come, bum, 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 bum. Okay, one, two, three, last one. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so the patterns we made, and there's way more to do, but we've got to stay with these ones. Is head, 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 body, head, body, head, 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 uppercut, uppercut, the reloads, head, 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 body, uppercut, head, 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 uppercut, body. Now, this is complete chaos because officially, well, let's do it first separated. And then we're going to tie this whole thing together like we did in the first or the second class. It's a hard one. I ask you guys at home to see if you could focus on that because this is a really good drill for your mind body connection. So let's first start. Head, 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 body, head, body, head. Head, 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 body, head, body, head. Now uppercuts. Head, 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 uppercut, head, uppercut, head. Body, uppercut. Head, 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 body, head, uppercut, head, uppercut, body. Head, 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 uppercut, head, body, head. Do that one more time. Head, 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 body, head, body, head. Uppercuts, both. Bum, 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 uppercut, head, uppercut, head. Body, uppercut. Head, head, head. Body, head, up, got head, and head, 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 uh, up, got head, body, head. Woo! Okay. Woo. Now the hard thing is going to come. Now we're going to tie them all together. There's not going to be not going to be a beat anymore. So the last cross you throw is the first cross from those three cross hook cross punches again. I'll show you because it makes more sense. So it's going to go cross hook cross, body, head, body, head, head, head. Up got head, up got head, 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 body head, up got head, 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 up got head, body head. Now those are all the four combinations in a row. Start slow, start grinding them in, and then go slowly and surely, faster and faster. So start with the body. Cross, who cross, body head, body, cross, who cross, up got, up got head. Up got head, head, body first. Body, head, up got. Head, 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 up got first. Body, head. All right, you try this on your own now. See if that works. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. Pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. Pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Long arms. Dang, dang, dang. Body, head. Body, head, head, head. Up got head. I'm gonna head, 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 body, head. I'm gonna head, 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 I'm gonna head, body, head. Keep going and see if you can do it without one mistake. This is very hard, but it's very fun to do. All right. I focus just on the reloads and go. That's what I do. I focus body, on the reloads. Body, up, up, body, up, up, body. That's exactly how I do it in my mind as well. I hear other people do it different. For me, that works the best. 
But uh, whatever works the best for you, of course, you want to do. We got to go out with the golden drill, right? Yes. The core twist drill. I'm going to get my own phone because then I got to. And, uh, what do you call it? There's a camera, boss. This is not their stopwatch. Oh, here's the stopwatch. Boom! Okay, so, <clears throat> let's say this all the time. Put your feet next to each other, grab the floor, so to say, then I'm going to move, cross your hands, and we're going to do this. <laughs> and we're going to do this for one minute. If you decide to do it like this, this exercise will do nothing for you. Zero. So you have to do it with explosive power. If you have a mirror, try to keep your head still and only let your body move. Round, round, round. Like this. I'm telling you, this will help with punching, with countering, with kicking. Everything will become harder and better and longer, more power when you do this drill. So that's why I call it the golden drill. This is really, you want to do this after every workout, preferably three times one minute with a minute break. But one minute is going to be very hard. All right, here we go. So cross your hands and go. <laughs> It said, it said that it didn't have, uh, the, couldn't access my camera, my, my uh, microphone. Oh, weird. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, we still have. Oh, there we go. Nita Straub. 